this individual feels very, very nauseous when they're trying to hit their protein goals. This is relatable. So I'm trying to lose weight and do so. I've been in a calorie deficit. I've been prioritizing protein. But every time I hit my 103 grams, feel like absolute <laughs> explicit word. We try not to curse on the channel. Um, but you get the gist. So uh, this what we're talking about with this one is uh, protein is a very satiating macronutrient. So anytime you eat like a chicken breast or a steak or something, you probably notice it feels really, really heavy in your stomach. And that's because protein uh, takes a lot of energy to actually digest. Um, so one, it keeps you full, it keeps you um, the full feeling in your stomach. And two, the reason why is because it takes a long time to actually break down all those proteins. Um, there's this thing called the thermic effect of food and protein calories or burning protein takes the most amount of energy to break down compared to carbs and fats. Um, so that's just a fir first thing. That's why when they're trying to really push their protein intake, they're feeling bad like this. So when it comes to protein sources though, there's some sources that are more filling than others. And obviously if you're eating like chicken breast and steak, uh, lean pork, those types of things, those are great sources of protein, but they're very satiating. Other sources of protein that aren't as satiating, there's cheese, dairy, milk. I use all three of these a lot. Oh, cottage cheese, there's a fourth one. All of those have a very good amount of protein and um, aren't nearly as filling, okay? So that's a good tip. On top of this, protein shakes are gonna be a big hack for this person at anyone because protein shakes have almost 25 grams of protein, give or take, for each um, thing of protein that you're drinking. Um, just usually one scoop is what it is. And I literally drink one of those and I feel like I haven't even had anything. I feel like I've just had water, essentially. And when I do that, um, I'm actually ready to eat more. I'm not uh, full at all. And that's when I don't make like a big protein shake with oats or peanut butter and bananas in it. Um, if I'm just eating the straight protein, sometimes I'll actually make a pudding and just like whip up a little pudding in a bowl. And that's something you can do too. But when you're trying to prioritize protein, that's great, 100%. Um, but have sources of protein that are less satiating uh, most of the time. And also too, it doesn't say how much this person weighs, but if this person weighs like say 100 um, pounds and they're trying to take in that much protein, that's gonna be a lot. Usually we try to get people to do uh, one gram per pound of lean body mass. So um, if they're 100 pounds and they're at 10% uh, body fat, that would mean um, they would have uh, 90 pounds of lean body mass. and from this, then you would do 90 grams of protein. Um, another way you can do it, kind of just a rule of thumb, is 0.82 grams per pound of what your normal body weight is. So it could be for this individual, um, if they were just saying like they were uh, 100 pounds and they were using that rule of thumb, they could then do 0.82 times 100, so 82 grams of protein. It's kind of splitting hairs. You're gonna be getting near the amount you need, um, but you should never feel like this, and hopefully you never do when you're eating lots and lots of protein.